Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video guys. Today we're going to talk about the best leadership for the pride team you're going to be using into the buff event which is Hira. But before we get into that guys if you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code Starco to get $10 worth of freebies to do so. It is very simple. You press on the, uh, the, the, the setting gear setting button here right on the top corner and then you go and use promo code and you enter the word starko s-t-a-r-k-o and you press ok and you will get ten dollars worth of freebies including uh 500 drag coins 250,000 gold and a little bit uh, more stuff than that definitely totally worth getting now let's jump in here and let's take a look at hira uh, because in my opinion, uh, some people are debating that Revol might be a better leadership than Ur. From my personal testing on the test server, uh, Hira is a best leadership than Revol. So we're going to talk about Ur today. We're still going to talk about Revol in the coming days, guys. We're going to be covering every single Pride characters as we started to do last week. Uh, until before the actual buff event is up. So um, if you don't want to be build here and you want to build revo instead well that video will be coming up soon in an, this week pretty much so uh what we're gonna do here is guys it's pretty simple we're gonna take a look at the skills which skills should we get to level six and what priority then we're gonna go take a talk about the runes and then talk about the artifacts so let's get started with the first skills here well with the skills first we're gonna start with the leadership and then we go we're gonna go down till we reach the first skills pretty much so uh, if we look at the leadership submission holds leadership ability all allies from the pain and the pride gain a 20 percent dodge increase which is awesome for survivability and when the battle starts all pride defenders gain talent for two turns so you guarantee that your salvador will get talent right at the bat when the start the, the fight start and you're gonna be able to apply that uh, uh, that shell ability that reduces damage uh, that he takes by 90% as soon as he gets a turn. So that pretty much make him unkillable for the first two turn, which gives you a huge advantage with, just with that. Uh, and all alive pride healer and tactician gain invisibility for two turn, and all alive pride fighter gain damage increase for two turns. So this 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 leadership is just awesome and then just if it was just for the dodge increase it is totally worth the mopping and that ability needs to be up to level six that that needs to be up to level six and i can already guarantee you that it is going to be the most important ability for hero to get to level six now if we go down with the other four abilities first we have the passive here Get stealth. If Hera doesn't take damage for a turn, she gains invisible invisibility for one turn and recover 30% of her turn meter at the end of her next turn, which is pretty awesome. Now, do we need to get this ability to level six? Uh, not really. I think this ability to level five is totally fine. Level even a level four will actually be totally fine because. 20% uh, turn meter versus 30% turn meter is not such a big difference. So what's really important for her is to have that on her passive, the main stats, which is uh, the invisibility after one turn if she doesn't take damage and for the rest, it does not matter. Now if we move to the next skills, uh, we have skill number three, was the shadow, uh, gain a dodge increase and critical chance increase and apply both to one ally for two turns, all their ally gain invisibility for two turns. So uh, basically what you want to do with this skills, and it's very important to get it to level six too because it reduces the cooldown, initial cooldown by one second, is that you want to time that uh, with the, the shell on your Salvador pretty much. So when your Salvador does not have a talent, a talent is not ready, but the shell is ready, 
basically you're gonna use the ability on salvador so you get against touch and critical chance increase and then everybody else around him is gonna get stealthed so even though he does not have a talent uh the enemies are still gonna target him because uh everybody else than him is actually gonna be stealthed so this is a very 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 important ability and i will actually rank the ability to be the second most important ability to get to rank six now if we look at the other two abilities first we have shred uh, deal 370 percent physical damage to an enemy remo remove all stack a combo from hira deal an extra 40 percent of physical damage for each stack remove and you can see we can drop down because she's not going to be your main damage dealer you can have this skills at level uh five and that will be totally totally fine yes we do lose a little bit of damage but it is single target ability and it's not going to be a game changer ability so it's totally fine then we have the first skill precision strike deal 250 percent of physical damage to an enemy hira gains a stack of combo for four turn this effect cannot pre cannot be prevented or remove and again this ability is not important to get to level six what's important is that the the combo thing here that is on their skills so it's really if you get this skills to level four level five it's totally fine it's not going to be a game changer in the amount of damage it's going to be doing it's just that uh, you might get a little bit of extra damage from your second skills after you use this skill for a few t a, a few times so that covers the ability so if we recap the most important ability to get to level six there's only two abilities that are important to get to level six we have the leadership which is the most important to get to level six and then we have not this one but this one here uh, the third skill that is the most important the second most important to get to level six and that is pretty much it so those are the two most important ability to get to level six now if we take a look at the runes, uh, the setup is actually pretty simple. This is my favorite setup. We have two critical rate, four critical damage. You could actually replace that to go with two critical rate and four damage runes to actually get the 15% damage instead of the 30% critical damage. Both are actually very viable, but it's really uh, two critical rate and either four critical damage or four damage. That's my personal recommendation and uh, if we talk about the primaries guys uh, the primaries uh, are going to be simple with first primary we want speed we want her to go as fast as possible second primary we're gonna go with critical damage uh, since we have a critical rate set we have increased critical damage so we want to try to do more damage and then the last primary we're gonna go with damage because she does not need potency uh, so damage is the best option there so those are the three important stats pretty much after that when you actually build in the character the runes with the secondary stats uh, the stats you want to you kind of want to focus on are uh, critical chance speed and damage those are the three stats you are actually going to be focusing on it's like here we have damage here we have damage critical chance which is great here we have damage and damage we have damage damage critical chance that is a very sexy rune uh, we have speed and damage here and we have critical chance and damage so you can see the pattern you want as much of those as possible and you can see here we have almost 50 percent critical damage which is a pretty awesome which is kind of why i go with the uh, critical damage uh, uh runes uh bonus runes so we can actually get that critical damage over 200 percent we can actually sometimes we'll get a critical hit and that will do a lot more damage now if we look at the speed optimally you want to have that speed around 180 but i think we still did pretty good with having only speed in the one optional rune which is very low usually you want to go with speed as a guarantee stat and at least two three runes to help you get that 180 but i think 180 is pretty much all you need on this characters and that will do the job potency is useless on her as she does not apply a debuff tenacity while well, tenacity 
is important but you don't want to replace damage especially that without getting a damage setup in the runes she her damage is going to be a joke so it's really important to buff up her damage and next guys we have last thing to check is the actual artifact the artifact i went for is uh, magna rock for one specific reason is gives me uh, 12 percent tenacity at the level we got it uh, no is it yeah 12 percent it's not max out sorry guys so we get 12 percent tenacity which will help her uh, getting less debuff and we have 8% a currency. Obviously, if you can find a rune that has a currency and damage, that might be better. But I do love the mix of uh, potency and a currency together, especially that we are going to be fighting buff in the event. Buff is uh, apply a lot, buff, debuff, I mean. So <laughs> having that tenacity always help and that a currency is the really the most important stats on that because uh, the buff event has a very very high dodge chance so having that currency above around 1.18% is always awesome optimally we will want to get that to 110% but again we have to get that rune to to maxed out literally maxed out so uh, this is not done yet but yes 108% it is pretty great for the buff event you get dodge less which will allow you to do more damage pretty much so that's pretty much the setup i have to for era uh, i have on Hera for the actual buff event obviously if you're building her for something else like arena or something else you might build her differently but for the buff event in my personal opinion i do believe that this is the best setup now if you disagree if you have uh you know different way to you want to build her you build her and she perform well you can always let me know in the comment section what you did and why you disagree with me and that's always nice to have a conversation with you guys about that kind of stuff anyway guys that's pretty much all we had for you guys today uh tomorrow we're gonna have more characters to actually review we are doing um uh, almost one every day unless we have something else special to actually talk about like if the patch note drop or something like that we're going to talk about patch note but other than that we're going to be talking about those characters those price characters every single day until the buff event is actually out so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when we post a new video go live with the live stream live stream once we get the battleground reward will be coming back on a i don't know what schedule yet because we're gonna wait to see uh how we gonna how often we're gonna be able to do uh you know the attack phase on the stream so guys thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and don't forget to uh come back for the next video guys thank you